Many thanks for joining us to Business Breakfast right here on iBrand TV. Let's talk markets now. Gains recorded in some banking stocks last week lifted the Nigerian exchange from the negative region even as investors gained 34 billion naira at the end of the week. The positive sentiment therefore ended the five straight weeks of losing streak as investors continue to focus on fundamentally sound stocks impressive first quarter 2023 results and dividend payments. Analysis of the activities level showed that the total traded volume plunged by 78.81% to 2.97 billion units, while value traded declined by 61.3% to 22.83 billion naira. Performance across the sectors was bullish, with the banking sector appreciating by 5.2%, while the oil and gas and the insurance sector advanced by 5.1% and 3.1% respectively. Now joining me now to do some analysis of this development, I have with us in-house analyst Ambrose Omodion, Chief Research Officer, Invest Data Consulting. And also joining me virtually via Zoom is the equity trader at Planet Capital Limited Port. Uzum. Gentlemen, good morning. How many thanks for joining us on the show today? Thanks for having us. Okay, Mr. Yeah, Paul. Thank you. Good, good, good. So yeah. let me start by um, asking Mr. Ambrose here with me in the studio. What is your assessment of trading activities at the NGS in the past week? For me, I would say the market has shown uh, a good strength, rebounding from uh, a loss position in the month of April. Okay. We said that April, there was a missed trend in April. The last uh, 17 days, the month of April, market rebounded powerfully on the strength of liquidity coming from you no know, mature bond, you no know, liquid that came to the market. That supported liquidity. Also, added to the dividend payment, when that is the payment period, funds are coming back through that payment, and investors are going back to the stock that are paid the money or the ones that are look more attractive. That will you know, put the market that we can see the last week and this week that the previous week, about two weeks now, market have been in, in a strong recovery mode. For me, it's a good thing for the market. But don't forget that as market is looking ahead to see the you know, April consumer price index and also MPC ahead, so investors will take opportunity of this rally to take profit this week to see the outcome. But I believe that the incoming government also will put the kind of confidence when they come with their, word, with their statement and also the kind of appointment for economic managers. That might also put confidence. But don't forget that in equity investment, don't fall in love with an up market. When you see market going up, it's a part of you to work to take profit. Why as a put down, put down to enter what to buy him? The market is about knowledge and also and it's that sector that has potential. You read it on the on the on that look that also about you know banking sector recording about five point two percent for a week. It tells you that that sector is something pushing that investor also looking that way. Liquidity also and the volume in that sector. I believe that there's still you no know, kind of a missed you know, opportunity in the market in terms of this new week because profit taking will come as people are looking at oh for most uh, two weeks now we're still an up market it's about for us to work to pull out some gains from the market okay mr ambrose i want you to hold your thought now let's get the um view of uh, mr paul uzum who also joins me now via zoom mr paul one of the th um, key things that mr ambrose said here he made mention of the mpc meeting that is scheduled to hold i think two weeks from now and i know that outcome of this meeting also play a critical role to the um, trading fundamentals at the exchange. Looking at the banking stocks now, gaining more momentum, despite impressive 2022 corporate earnings, we still realize that um, the NGS fell by 1.5 trillion Naira as at the end of transaction in April. What is your reaction to this? Yeah, uh, the banking sector um, surprised the markets. They performed um, and results will be seen from that sector from across um, banks like Zenith Bank, GT Bank, Asset Bank, and UBA. Okay, we seem to have some network challenge there, but I want you to respond to that while we try to um, get connected no, back to... You said that the market recorded about 1.3 trillion no, loss in the month of April. Yeah. I will tell you that that's a lot of what profit-taking activity in the market because every investor have entered the market in the month of December, January, expecting this dividend to come to the market. And in the market, you've seen capital appreciation. And most of them, like me, that are traders, they have entered the stock for, you know, for is it below the price we enter. And the dividend they are declining is 2 naira, and we have made 5 naira on that stock. It's wise for you as a trader, not investor. investors want to hold to their minimum, have to sell down. And they take profit that put the market, not that the fundamental the market has changed. Okay. Because the earnings in the market, especially my colleague I mentioned, mm. you see the, the, uh, the banking sector, 
impressive earnings and will not factor that contribute to that banking sector of that earnings because one well, as we are seeing a high you know interest rate anywhere in the world that is about what to support the you know the banking sector and also you know in the, in the month of uh, february and march because of uh, cash growth most companies a big firm were online were online transacting that also boosted the banking but i believe that that trend will continue in this uh, quarter for the banks okay mr ambrose uh, before i wrap up this segment now let me get paul um take on this paul what is making Nigerian okay. financial sector more attractive to investors? <laughs> but it seems that um, we have more stocks, uh, and the more banking stocks gaining momentum, recording more gains at this point. What is making the Nigerian banking sector attractive to investors? Um, well, you know, interest rate has been up for the past uh, since the um, second half of last year. Me, yeah. And uh, because of that, uh, Many um, such a policy change is like for me is a zero sum game in terms of the, um, it's the people that concept us and the second high interest rate regime. Higher interest rate means that um, the, um, institutional um, companies that have huge pile of cash and uh, make more money from fixing their money. Um, so you expect that uh, financial services uh, companies like banks that have um, depositors funds to. Uh, and uh, who are lending, people who are lending, who make more money on that interest rate regime. <coughs> and that's what we are seeing now. Okay, we won't let um, the network to be a distraction, but Ambrose, if I let you go, what is your projection for trading activities for the week? I expect the market will be a mistrend okay. because people will be taking profit while people are taking advantage of pullback to back. Well, that's <laughs> <Okay. the trend. laughs> we'll see how activities at the marketplace are this week. I want to say a big thank you to you, um, Chief Research Officer, um, Data Consulting, Ambrose uh, Omodion, and also Paul Uzum also joins me live virtually as well. I want to say a big thank you for your time on the show yeah, today. Yeah, thanks for having me. Mm -hmm. yeah. Stay to come on the program this morning. Federal government's new physical policy measures has continued to elicit reactions from critical stakeholders. What are the impl implications of this development to the economy? Details in a moment. Stay with us. This is Business Breakfast on Ibrand TV.